time for a quick update video. Uh, I live about uh, 200 yards here from a grain elevator and it's been so loud back here that I haven't been able to make any videos so let me give you a quick update. I don't know how much time I have. We just had a, a storm come through and knocked the power out temporarily so at least for now it's quiet. So let's take a look at what I got going here. Here we have uh, some freshly brewed compost tea. This is actually a combination of compost and worm tea here. Pretty amazing stuff. And here, let's see. Here's my hydroponic tomato plant uh, in the uh, top drip bucket system I made. Let's take a little look at the root system. <laughs> Get out. This is some of the uh, experiments I've been doing with my tomato plants. This one, these first two here, these are Roma tomato plants. And uh, you can see as it got taller, I tied them down. And interestingly, the, uh, the branches that would have normally come up around it are now growing straight up. And they're acting like almost like individual little tomato plants themselves. Here's a couple uh, that are tied up. Is these two are also Roma tomato plants. Here's uh, four super beef steaks here. They're doing pretty good. This one, this is kind of an unusual one. This uh, was attacked by the cats when it was still a seedling and every place it seemed like every place they scratched it now grew new branches on it this was kind of weird I don't know what happened here it's like three or four stems all grew together it's making these really wild flowers on top that'll be some interesting tomatoes when they come on but see there it's like Three stems growing all together. Okay, let's go take a look at some of my other experiments. Now this is a self-watering planter. Uh, I'm growing basil in it. I've I've got uh, a fairly large bag of dried basil in the freezer now. I've cut this plant back like three times, and uh, it just keeps coming back. This is another store-bought self-watering container. I thought it was kind of interesting that uh, the purple is actually <laughs> uh, bleeding off the leaves of, of, of the flowers. Kind of interesting. Now this is my banana peppers and this is a, a homemade self-watering planter. This actually holds five gallons of water at all times and uh, you see and there's, there's plans for this on the internet and stuff. There, I just have the, the fill tube there, but this is doing really well. Uh, and I've already picked at least this many peppers already. Now this is a, a different type of self-watering planter. I was growing this, uh, this is a yellow pear tomato plant in a bucket. And I was worried that I wasn't getting enough water because when you water it from the top, uh, that's where the roots tend to go and they weren't really going very deep so I designed this system this is a uh, this tube here makes a vacuum so it doesn't let the the water out this tube here this is what keeps water in the system I had to uh, close pin it there because the cats kept knocking it out but 
uh, and then I put this on here this is a half inch PVC with a cap and the tube is just stuck in there it's uh, but it's in there tight and it creates a vacuum the water as soon as the water level drops it breaks the vacuum lets the water come out of here and through the tube and then keeps the plant watered all day long from the bottom and this is just my marigolds they're just in a big this is a pot I had left over from last year they're really doing well too now here's my rainwater storage I got the lid off now so you can kind of see it's just a 55 gallon plastic drum I cleaned and cut the top off and I needed some more storage because I kept running out of water so I made this one this is uh, just a wire fence mesh that I formed into a circle and this is two 35 gallon trash bags heavy duty trash bags and it's it's working pretty good now I got two of them because once I said I got cats and uh, they like to scratch at it and stuff so I had to put two of them in there but if you're looking for an inexpensive way to store several gallons of water this might be an alternative for you well I hope you enjoyed my little show and tell and uh, well, it looks like we've got some more rain coming in so uh, keep an eye out for some uh, some new hydroponic videos and uh, we'll see you real soon thanks for watching